is GK from uh, All Geek, and I am here to show you a Let's Play. This is uh, Diablo 1 Hellfire Expansion. Um, a little bit of uh, history on this. Uh, this was created by CR Entertainment, and it wasn't uh, developed by Blizzard, the original developers Please of Diablo. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus, he led us down here to find the Lost Prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Uh, it had a few updates in it, one major one being that uh, the you uh, could run in town, they had a little jog mechanic, fouled. and that they skipped uh, a few steps in the, in the uh, animation so that you could go faster in town. I remember playing the original Diablo, and it was really slow. They walked in town, so kind of killed it, so. This is uh, kind of fun. I picked the Monk. He is the new expansion character. Yeah, let's see how this goes. A few other things they added was also the auto heal function. You clicked on Pepin, you talk to him, he auto me like they healed you, which is uh, in later games is sort of a staple point. Uh, healing. There's also the search spell or scroll. In the newer games, you can hold down all of them. You see whatever's on the ground. This one they had to put into a spell form. It's the next best thing. Yes. Skeletons. Yeah, this game has a lot of nostalgia. I used to play this a lot back in the day. I remember my uh, uncle getting the game first and seeing it. It was kind of creepy back then. Now it's not so bad. Kind of used to worse. I used to always hate these little fallen ones. Every time you kill somebody, they just run away from you. Get him. Oh, yes. Guys, can yeah, come on. Oh yeah, there you go. Death scroll. Zombies. Gold. Always good. Always good to get gold, you know. Even just a little bit helps, especially when you're first starting out. There was also a few uh, spells implemented in this game. They uh, had like the, uh, in the original game they had like the firewall, which is like, you know, a wall of fire. In this one, they got the fire lightning, they got, I think they got charge bolt in here as well. Uh, a few other things. I used to be a big fan of Sierra. I, I felt like those were the guys that started Valve almost. I remember all the uh, older Valve uh, games like Half-Life, uh, Lords of Magic and stuff like that. Those were all like Sierra titles before Steam came out. What happened to those guys? Seems like a lot of the old school guys disappeared. I remember like Back in the same era, I used to play Sierra titles. I was playing this other one called Red Alert 2. It's by Westward Studios, and those guys, I believe, they got bought up by EA. But uh, yeah, they were they were pretty cool. I liked them. Back in the Red Alert 2 action, pretty cool. So unfortunately, EA kind of runs the show because they're, they're not for the fans, that's for sure, to say the least. Skeletons, more skeletons, more skeletons. Zombie, kill the zombie. Yes. Oh yeah. Come on. Damn barrel. Sometimes there'll be a big old explosion. And you're just like wrecked. You gotta be careful when you're hitting those bad boys. Uh, let's see. Open the door. This will be a good spot right here. Yes. Yeah, come on, skeletons. Come on, skeletons. Yeah, Agent Skillies. Come on, get him. Get him right there. He's a little fiend. Here, yeah, come on. Let's get him, bastards. Vultures! The red vultures! No more Skillies. No Skillie. Get some gold. 
That's good. That loot. I get the loots, man. Come on. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Still wish they would speed up the uh, dungeon movement, but I guess the dungeon movement was never really too all that bad. The original Diablo, it was the town. Like when you get to town, you're like if you have the warrior, you put the the warrior would put his uh, helmet on the side and he'd just start walking. And by God, it was so slow. Ugh. It was the original. This is the one that kind of kicked it all off. When it comes to that overhead hack and slash action. Remember online, they used to have this, uh, you could duplicate items and stuff like that. And you'd, uh, throw down a potion on the ground, and then you walk back, and you walk over and pick it up, and as soon as you pick it up, you'd, uh, you know, whatever item it was, you'd, you'd throw it on the ground, uh, that's right, you'd throw the item on the ground, and then, uh, you'd walk back, and then you'd walk to it to pick it up, and as soon as you picked it up, you'd pick up a scroll or, or a potion off your belt, did it just right, you know, that potion or scroll would turn into uh, the item that you picked up, so it would give you a duplication, you know, you can either sell it or, uh, or just make another of that item to get back up, that was pretty cool, I don't know if this one has it, they probably fixed that in this one, uh, one of the drawbacks of this Hellfire expansion was, uh, it doesn't have any updates, it had like one patch, that Sierra had put out to do some fixes in it, but it doesn't have any updates and uh, it doesn't have battle nets, so you cannot play this online with your friends, which is unfortunate. I would uh, definitely like it if they would have allowed it to have some battle net connectivity. That way you can play with some of your friends. It's always fun playing with the homies. Yeah. Got some cooperative action, especially with this type of game. I remember a friend of mine had the original Diablo on PlayStation. It wasn't as fun as the computer, because the computer you could like connect other people, go anywhere. The, the console version, it had, uh, you were stuck, you were like tethered together, so you couldn't run, go off on your own, you had to stay on the same screen. So that was a, you know, kind of a shitty part of it that I didn't like, but other than that, it was still a pretty fun game. I like to clear out some of the map that way you get the most experience. First thing you want to do, especially when you're first starting out, is uh, go down further down the dungeon without uh, gaining enough uh, stat points and whatnot. Maybe enough gold to buy yourself some more potions or whatever. And always make sure to clear out the dungeons first. Yeah, I never played this uh, expansion back in the day. I always used to play the original, just the original one, Diablo 2. Uh, played a little bit of the third one too as well. Uh, didn't really give it a chance when the third one came out. A lot of people were saying it was like a animated, like the like WoW or something like that, and it was cartoony and wasn't as like dark as the original. And didn't really give it a chance, but my friend kind of showed me my there my ways. Turn me on to that game. It's pretty cool. Like I don't, I don't mind it at all. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely different than the older ones, though. Like the first and second one were very, very similar in a way because it was dark and gothic -y and, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. You ever played the third one? Go ahead and give it a shot, though. You know, see how you think about it. These potions, right here, those blacksmith oils, those are. I think there's a new implementation as well. Uh, they uh, repair your, your items and your armor and stuff like that on the run. So, you, could, you know, you don't have to go to town necessarily to repair your stuff. Let's see, put all this stuff over here. There's some scrolls. Scrolls identified, blah, blah, blah. Keep all this crap to sell. Check all the inventory status. 
Yeah, that's one thing too about this game I forgot about. Uh, you gotta make sure to save a lot. Otherwise, you could. Uh, one time I started and did not save, got killed. Had to start all over. Yeah, so you gotta make sure to save frequently. Dexterity. Down level. I'm on now. Let's see a new level. I cannot carry I'm any burning. more. So this garbage I can get. Oh, there we go. Just switch this up. Uh, get that one right there. I have no room. Yeah. Throw that crap out. Put uh, this off. Out. See how this goes for a minute. Like whack a mole. Bing, bing. This town portal scroll. Always useful. Allow me to go back to town without having to run back. It's kind of a pain in the ass, especially if you get down to deeper dungeons. But we are only on the second floor, so shouldn't be too bad. Let's see if I can. Gather up enough resources before we go in now. So, oh yeah, this is, this is stay at the door, stay at the door. Yep, there you go. Bottleneck him. Oh no. Oh. Usually try to stay at the door. This one won't go all out. There you go. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Get these little skellies. Come on, skellies. Come on, Asian skellies. Feeling some nostalgia recently, so it's kind of wanted to feel like I play some of those classics. You know, yeah. I used to play a lot of uh, a lot of consoles back in the day, like you know, Nintendo, Dreamcast, Sega, Genesis, all those old school consoles. You know, I miss how they kind of did uh, games. They would uh, they would make a game, and if it was good. You know, uh, people bought it, you know, and it, that'd be it, that's the game. Uh, but if it was a crappy game, they couldn't update it, and so if they so try to sell it to you, people would know it was a crappy game, they wouldn't even bother trying to play it. Uh, you know, so it wouldn't sell right. But these, uh, these classics are definitely worth it. Some vitality in here. Vitality's for life, of course. Strength is for your damage. Uh, magic's for your mana. And Ability to read books, and whatnot, and learn spells. And dexterity, I believe, is your attack rate. The attack rate, and critical chance. I believe it's your attack rate to hit chance. Uh, let's see, there's a cap. Scroll search. Yeah, this that scroll search right there. That's the uh, the uh, let's let you find out what's on the ground. You know, but in newer games it'd be alts, but that this is the next best thing. So I'd like that little add on the add on there. I have no room. Let's see what's this? 
Ooh, firebolt staff. And throw that old one out there. Put that on there. Uh, save. Switch over to the firebolt staffs. Find it a little bit faster than the other ones. The more you hit them, the faster you hit them, the you can almost stagger lock them. You know? So it's pretty cool. They're pretty cool weapons. At least with this guy. I don't know if this guy's any better with the death than the other guys are, but I doubt it. They're all pretty all pretty balanced out. The uh, original in the original game the uh, I think the sorcerer or, or the, the mage was the one that a lot of people liked. Just because you could do more with the spells with that guy. Everybody could learn any spell. It's all like, you know, you can ma mix and match. But the mage was the guy. You get a higher mana, uh, higher magic, and you can just do more. Especially with that mana shield. That thing was kind of OP back in the day. It's not as fast as in the second or third game because I do believe you have to right click and then click where you want to teleport. Um, it's almost like a click and use teleport and then click again. And in, the original, in the second game, you can just hold your mouse wherever it is and then click it. Right click, right click it, and it's instantaneous. And it doesn't wait for you to click again for the, uh, the teleport. So. This, this one, I believe, is just another. Kind of finagle around with it. Definitely a slower game, slower paced game than the newer iterations. But this is what started it all, though. it there and uh thank you guys for watching the video you guys enjoy yourself a good day